Hey Aries, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is just going to be a general reading. I'm trying out a new series. It's called Your Fate. So we're just going to go over that here. And um, I'm going to do a nine card spread and I'm going to clarify. So any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box or the comment section. Let's go ahead and get started here, Aries. Let's see what we are getting for you guys. Nine card spread. We'll start with that one that's popping out there. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a pretty equal balance of everything. I do feel like you guys could be in a very stuck space, okay? Um, with the Eight of Swords energy and the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups, okay? You're starting off with a Knight of Wands. So I feel like maybe early on um, there was a lot of movement, okay? Um, you went after a lot of things, but I feel like something happened that, um, or maybe a perspective was brought in. Could have been by a mother. Could have been something you saw, okay? But something was brought in, I feel, that kind of made you feel like you couldn't go after certain things, all right? So basically, I feel that you developed limiting beliefs, okay? Uh, like a lot of people do. And then we have the Queen of swords so I feel like it, there could be somebody who comes in here it could be a Libra there's somebody who's taught you something all right and I feel like you are out of connection with this person although you don't have to be I feel like death card there I feel like you are out of connection with this person let's look at the knight of wands first what's going on with that knight of wands energy here I'm getting two cards for it nine of swords and the eight of cups okay yeah nine of swords to me that's a card of like waking up to something it's not always a pretty truth it's not always something you want to wake up to of course um but yeah for the most part I feel like there are a lot of th there are a lot of situations for the group of Aries that I'm connecting with where um, you know, you see a truth and you kind of ignore it. You don't want to walk away, but you're seeing this truth so you can move on to something different. So you can move on to something better. And I feel like maybe um, those limiting beliefs that you developed early on um, have made you feel like maybe this is as good as it gets. So I need to stay in this situation. Um, I'm afraid to move with the Eight of Swords energy. What's going on with the Eight of Swords? The Hermit, yeah. I mean, that's a card of like isolating, going within. Um, I feel like a lot of you maybe struggle with... Um, self-doubt, all right, um, or just with, with your image in general, all right, so there's something about that here where I feel as if you guys are just very, um, you, like hermits, okay, you, you want to stay in one place when I don't feel that that's really what you're meant to do here, give me the queen of swords for the group of areas I'm connecting with, it's general, you don't have to take it on, what's going on with the queen of swords, ace of swords, yeah, I feel like you will be getting some kind of clarity here. Um, it could be from a feminine energy. Everybody has feminine energy. I do feel like it's a Libra more specifically, but uh, it could be another air sign here with the Ace of Swords. I feel like they are bringing in some kind of clarity um, or a new perspective that allows you to move forward. All right. You have this Four of Cups energy here. Um, I'm feeling something weird off of that. What's going on with the Four of Cups? Some of you could have your moon in Cancer. What's going on with the Four of Cups? Queen of Wands. Aries energy. Like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like you're out of a disconnect with this person. And because of that, Four of Cups, you're not really wanting to pay attention to the lessons that the connection has taught you, um, to the good things that that person brought into your life. And I feel like those perspectives have benefited you. You know, it's possible that maybe you feel as if like you wasted your time in this situation, like it was a waste of um, mental work. I don't know why. I feel like this person could have been hard to get to um, emotionally, there was a lot of mental work. You trying to figure out how it was that they felt or what their intentions were. Uh, but overall, that Four of Cups energy, I feel like you're trying to just dead the situation altogether when there were actually things that you did learn from this person. Um, Queen of Wands, so they're telling you to kind of face that. That little black cat down there can represent the shadow or things that are hidden. So yeah, I feel like you're going to have to dig up those things or that's what, they're, that's what the advice is here anyways. Give me the Nine of Swords. You got the Nine of Swords showing out twice? I feel like somebody struggles, a lot of people struggle to accept that, you know, that, that people are temporary. A lot of people are temporary, okay? Uh, Venus and Cancer with that Two of Cups energy showing up to clarify this. So I feel like there's a truth that um, keeps coming in to you guys about a person uh, where you need to leave a situation here. And it's just a truth that you don't really want to wake up to. But I feel like Spirit's message here, especially with that Knight of Wands energy, is that you aren't meant to stay still, okay? You aren't meant to stay stuck to this one individual who... Um, 
because I feel as if you guys have disconnected with a person here who, um, you know, inspired you a lot, who brought in a lot of different perspectives, and I feel that now you're maybe connecting with a person who um, has the same limiting beliefs as you did in the past, so now you're kind of stuck with, what do I resonate with, you know? And I feel like there are different things to take from each individual. Every person is supposed to teach us a lesson. You have the magician here. What's going on with the magician? For Aries. Getting a couple there. What is it? The Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the World. See? You guys are, are comfortable, all right, with something that doesn't satisfy you. Like the Four of Cups, that's literally a card of just not being satisfied. The Four of Pentacles, holding on to it anyway because it's familiar. The World card, needing to close it out, needing to see more of the world. Okay, there's so much more to see out there. Maybe you guys are stuck in your uh, hometown and you don't want to be there. Maybe you've been stuck at the same job forever. They're saying that you are meant to have seasons in life. And seasons include different people. You know, sometimes we have to close chapters with people. And I also feel that you're very powerful manifestors. Um, with this magician showing up here, but you don't really put that to use uh, because the Four of Pentacles can sometimes be a card of somebody who doesn't really know how grand they are. That's why the Pentacle is resting on the top of his head there. And it's also a card that says that, you know, to possess a skill and not use it is to misuse. And the magician is um, a channel between heaven and earth, okay? Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles here as well, so let's look at that. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles for Aries? Ooh, some of you could have Jupiter and Capricorn. I want to take the ones that fell out right there, which are the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Hair Font, the Nine of Cups. This is a miniature deck, so it just occurred to me that you guys probably can't see all of this. We have the Four of Swords as well. So um, Mars and Capricorn, Sun and Aries, Taurus, Jupiter in Pisces, and Jupiter in Libra. Three Jupiter cards out here. Um, in this little six card area over here. So yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of back and forth energy with you. Okay, there's a lot of in between. Um, you have that three of pentacles. So it's almost like, well, I've put in a lot of work in this already. It's not about the work that you put in or the time that you've put in. What results have you seen? Is kind of what they're asking you here. What results have you seen? If you're struggling on whether or not to stay in a situation or go, I think you know the answer though. The three of um, wands being here. This is a card of somebody who can oversee things. I think that you know the answer. I think that you're just a little bit scared because you've committed to whatever this is. This could be a marriage for some of you. Uh, you've committed to whatever this is. The Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're just in this space where you want something more, but you're just staying comfortable. Okay? We have the Page of Cups energy as well. So let's look at that. What's going on with the Page of Cups for Aries? You guys are also very intuitive and you ignore it, okay? Um, the Knight of Swords to the High Priestess. I feel like you maybe get intuitive messages. Pages are messengers. Water's, water does um, represent the emotion, the intuition. So I feel like you guys could get a lot of messages. Or maybe you have a lot of dreams. You know, Maybe you have a lot of things that you want to accomplish. And you decided to kind of lay those to rest for some of you. For others of you, like I said, I feel like you're very intuitive. You get a lot of downloads and you dismiss them with logic. All right, You dismiss them. You try to rationalize why you're seeing a certain thing or um you know you believe in coincidence a lot for the group of areas that i'm connecting with but there's something about it or you wouldn't be watching this right some of you could have a lot of pisces in your chart with this high priestess showing up here but something about the unknown does fascinate you okay you crave it truthfully but there's something about you that just is like no i've committed to this and i'm sure that this is what I, where i'm supposed to be what i'm supposed to be doing page of pentacles though fresh land earth energy taurus virgo and capricorn What's going on with this Eight of Pentacles energy for Aries? Seven of Pentacles. See, literally, in this card, he's focused on all these pentacles in the past there instead of that pentacle that's right at his foot. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Look up the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you might have Saturn and Taurus, but yeah, they're telling you to take action on your dreams, on your plans. You're not going to fail, okay? You're not going to fail. Other people have done it. Why can't you? You know what I mean? Um, because the King of Wands, there's a salamander on the card. Sometimes I can talk about somebody who can withstand a fire, but King of Wands is actually a natural born leader. And so are you, Aries. Some of you could be a life path one, but yeah, I feel like they're telling you to go after this. Don't stay stuck in one place. You're not meant to stay stuck in one place. That's not your fate. You're meant to experience all these other things, all right? Uh, especially with the magician energy showing up here. You can manifest whatever it is that you want. The only thing that stands in your way, like abundance is all around you. The only thing that's standing in your way are your own limits, okay, that you're setting for yourself. So that's what I feel like saying here too, Aries. Um, if you guys would like to book a personal with me, all that information is down below. You could also watch out for your other signs, and there should be a link or two in the 
comment section uh, for some other readings that I've done for your sign here recently. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy your week. Bye.